Hello, hello. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Hello, students. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, guys. How are you today? It's better. It's uh, mejor. Así que ayer. Much better, better than yesterday. Okay, much better. <laughs> yesterday <laughs> better than yesterday all right that's great uh actor it's it's glad that you're better than yesterday camilo how are you good evening teacher i'm fine and you oh, oh great thanks for asking what about your day how was it how was your day uh, today was my free day i don't oh, know if it's, it's the, had, the the way to say it you had a date off wow yes yes no work today no, I didn't work today. Oh, great. So do you enjoy this day? I mean, you do something, you did something interesting. Yes, I was uh, studying English and I was uh, I'll, um, a lot of time in the platform. In the platforms. Oh, wow. Platform. That's oh, working in the platforms. That's awesome. You took a great advantage of all the time. You know, congratulations because it's a day off, but you made an effort and a sacrifice to practice that's awesome thank you you're welcome and welcome to veronica too hello veronica hello good evening teacher how are you today mm. good okay all right so welcome it's a pleasure to have you here again in class and also uh, let's welcome to joanna beatriz hi joanna welcome Good evening, teacher. Good how evening, are you? guys. How are you, Joanna? Good evening. Great. So I, what do you do today? I prepare the different class for the students in two universities. So you were very busy. Yeah, it's difficult. It's difficult, but you like it because, you know, being a teacher is you know, it's a passion, it's uh, something important. Yes, yes, it's great. It's um, when the time uh, and conversation with different uh, topics is it's excellent. Uh, uh, improve, they improve the, the, with the students. Yeah, you see. Learn. Yeah. Yeah, definitely that is uh, something very interesting. You know, when you like when you like what you do, it's like not so hard. Perhaps you could take like some time, but and it's something that you enjoyed it. So that's great. At the end, you did it. So that's right, valuable. And, and the students love it. And the students will love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. And what about, uh, let's welcome to Adriana Hernandez too. Hi, Adriana. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. How was your day? Um, I had a good day. All right. Mm. Okay, something interesting. Oh, well, there are some students that they are um, experiencing some issues because of the rain. The internet connection is like not stable. So that's why they uh, have badly had internet connections. So Adriana, uh, something interesting you did today? Uh, something you did? No, something interesting you did? I don't know, tell me about it. Repeat the question, uh, teacher, algo, uh, Okay, algo interesante que, que hizo este día. Ah. So, yeah. Ah, today, um, I... I descansed, teacher. Okay, I rested. I rested. And I have also studied. Nice. In the university. Okay, that's cool. That's great. That's great, definitely. All right, thank you so much. And also we have Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. Welcome. Hello. Hi, teacher. How are you today? 
Uh, five. Uh, I feel a bit tired. Oh, yeah, I understand. So you had a very busy day. And uh, today I received a call from the violence contra la mujer. Against, against women. Okay. In, in Suchitoto. Uh, at, okay, in Sochitoto. Okay. So you had to travel right there? You travel to Sochitoto? Yes. Oh. And uh, of the Cojute. Okay, in Cojute, Cojute Peque, right? Cojute Peque. Okay, I know, I know. Well, so, you know, I know that you had a busy time, but it, it's a pleasure to have you here this day. Well, um, let's just start the class today to always like have the opportunity to like practice and learn. And also, I know that most of us, we have had a, um, a very busy activities, different things that we have done, but we are here just ready to practice before going to bed. So you, when you go to bed, when you go to sleep, you dream in English because we have had um, an English class. Entonces, ya mucho como... Después de la clase se van a dormir, entonces vamos a soñar en inglés, right? That's the way. Well, it's actually a great opportunity to practice. But before, I would like to ask you guys what we studied in the last class. What do you remember about the last class? And I would like you to tell me what do you remember? Who wants to start? ¿Qué vimos en la clase anterior? A ver, ¿quién se acuerda? Comparation. Okay, explain me about that, please. Ex explain about it. Uh, give me an idea. Um, okay, ¿quién me explica? ¿Quién me explica? ¿Qué hicimos? Estuvimos haciendo. Yes. You. Uh, we we working on the how much? You, how, yes. How many? Okay, and what's the what's the difference between how much and how many? Yeah. Uh, how many is uh, accounts now, and how much is an an account? An accountant. No. Countable and account accountable nouns. Uncountable nouns. Countables and uncountable nouns, right? That's right. So we'd say that how many is for countable things, for things that we can count individually. And we also used uh, how much for an uncountable nouns, things that we cannot count individually. That's right. So we have a mix of topics that we will share today in the class. So let's start now. And uh, let me check this. Okay. Let me show you the presentations that we'll have for this class today. And... One second. Okay, so we're gonna try to take advantage of all that. And also, well, there are great students here joining us today in the class, right? So we're talking about demonstrative adjectives. We're gonna have a combination of different uh, contents that we will study for this class. And uh, well, we have to talk a little bit about your jobs, about job positions, the workplace. And um, we have an activity that we will develop right here in the class. We have to make a list of, of activities you do in your job. So the purpose about this one is that you remember some basic vocabulary that you can socialize for a class. And um, I want you to think right away about activities that you develop in your job. Um, some, of, some of us, we have repetitive activities during this time. But in, also you can explain a little bit about what you do. So this is what you had to do right away, guys. I will give you a couple of minutes to think about this. And also, we will take a short time to express what we do. Remember that the most important about the first part of this class is to speak, is to communicate. Why? Perhaps we don't have like people around us who can speak English. We don't have people around us who can practice the vocabulary or also we can speak. And I will explain the reasons why. Um, lo que sucede es que no tenemos, a veces, en nuestro entorno, muchas personas hablan en español todo el tiempo. 
amigos, vecinos, donde trabaja, lo que hace es en Spanish all the time. Entonces tenemos que salir de esa zona de confort y tratar de buscar los espacios para poder practicar inglés. This is one of the challenges we have here in the country because it's in a Spanish country. That's why when we have these spaces for practicing here in a class, we need to take advantage about the class and speak, produce a language. That's one of the things we need to do. Entonces, le voy a dar aquí unos minutitos para que pueda usted pensar en aquellas actividades prioritarias que usted realiza y luego las vamos a compartir en el grupo. ¿Qué es lo que usted hace? Okay. Well, I do this one. I'm in charge of some people in the company. I'm, I'm uh, teaching them to use some tools or to work in some strategies. Or I'm in charge of the manufacturing of the company. I'm checking the products. I'm in charge of verifying different aspects about the products. Or I, uh, you know, give some trainings for some people in the company. Or I just do this one. So I want you to think about some activities, the most important activities you develop in your job. Así que les voy a dar los minutitos para que los pueda hacer lo, lo breve posible because for us it's a practice. And when you are ready, if somebody's ready, you can say, teacher William, I'm ready. I would like to, to share my ideas about it. Okay, so let's start. Okay, is someone ready, by the way? Hector. Hector, okay, Mr. Margar, um, share with us your information. Okay, I am a pastor in one English, in one church, pardon, uh, teaching the Bible, meet of prayer, call or visit person, member of the church, Pray with others, counseling, pastoral, 
man, um, Mary's family individually visit other church for preaching. Is me common? Me common again? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We we understand. Yeah, we understand what what actually something important you do. Okay. <laughs> Uh, something else that you would like to add? Algo más que va a agregar? Or it's okay for you? Okay for me. All right. Thank you so much. What about Jocelyn? In my, in my work, I help the student. And I answer calls from a student. I make a study record. And I check subjects. <sighs> Equivalences and I answer answer uh, emails from a student. Um, are are you currently teaching? Are you teaching, right? No. You are the coordinator. Uh, no sé cómo se se dice, pero bueno, yo estoy en administración académica. Ah, okay. All right. De la yeah. universidad. Um, okay. Entonces, no sé cómo se dice el, el puesto en sí. No sé cómo se dice en you, inglés. You don't know. In, in Spanish is administrator, academic administrator. That could be in Spanish. Academic uh, administrator. Academic? Administrator. Okay. okay. Wow, that sounds very interesting. Great job. Okay, uh, we're going to take a short time to socialize this information. So for that reason, we will work in a breakout rooms. We actually are 20 right now. And what I want you to do is to share with your partners uh, what you do as a practice here in the class. So we're gonna work in a breakout rooms and uh, we will uh, be very brief to explain with your partners uh, what you do. So let's open the breakout rooms in a briefly way to explain what you do. And also you can share something else about your uh, daily activities in your jobs. So let's open the, the breaking rules and get everybody get ready to uh, accept the invitation and join and practice English. Let's go. Okay, there are there are some students that they haven't um have access to the the groups. So I don't know, Anna Maria says, are you there? Anna Maria. Anna Maria, she's not here.
Hello, teacher. Estoy teniendo problemas con mi teléfono. No me deja unirme, me saca. Ok, vamos no sé a... Qué pasó. Vamos a intentar. Eh, la voy a mandar a otro... A otra sala para ver si nos funciona. I will send you to group number three. Ok. Thanks. Thank you. But in the future, I, but in the future, I would like to work in, as a teacher, an English teacher, and I would like to help my students with the with the, with different areas, for example, in, in the pronunciation or in the grammar. Um, Oye, se me se oye algo cortado. No sé, será mi Insta. No, el micrófono de O el micrófono. No, no te pude escuchar bien. Hello. Hello. ¿Alguien ah. más me escucha? Oh, María? Se, se escuchó claro, se escuchó muy bien. Ah, okay. ah pues, ¿Cuál es? ¿Cuál es mi trabajo? Ajá, el nombre de mi trabajo. El trabajo. Ajá, es... my, my word is... Se llama... Design, diseño. Diseño. Se venden eh, product... Eh, product... Eh, quiero ver. De engineering and... Um, Arquitectura, arquitect, no sé cómo se dice arquitectura, arquitectura. Architecture. Architecture, pero ok. Solamente, only. Uh, I am a co-manager uh, in my job day. I buy uh, accessories for the uh, garment. I coordinate the test, garment test uh, for uh, with the internet in Guatemala. And I am uh, I am, no sé cómo se dice en inglés, pero estoy encargado de, de desarrollo de, 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 una, de una cuenta para prendas que se venden en Estados Unidos. I am in charge 
of an account of clothes um, sold, sold in the United States. Okay. And that's it. Okay, uh, let's continue with the rest of the practice. As you know, the main purpose about this class is because we have two hours classes and um, everything we study here is a backup, is a review. So you have the freedom to ask questions about the topics that we're studying. And also you can see here in the presentation, the following topic. The topic is um, the use of demonstrative adjectives. You can see this one, look at this. Okay, so uh, having a short backup related to the demonstrative adjective, as you know, uh, the purpose about demonstrative adjective is to demonstrate where the things are. It could be, we're talking about people, animals, and objects. For this one, the demonstrative adjectives, um, as we know, we have two types. We have singular demonstrative adjectives and also we have plural demonstrative adjectives. There are two that are singular and there are two that are plurals. But at the same time, the, we use um, some demonstrative adjectives that are closed and there are some adjectives that are far away or we cannot touch them. Veamos el ejemplo. Tenemos the singular, this, and that. Look at the, look at the screen. That's the, the, are actually these ones. I'm going to use a better one. And this one. We have this. And also we have that. Those also are singular. Este. In Spanish, this will be like este, esta, este. And also we use that. Este lo usamos que es this cuando los objetos están cerca, right? This book, this cell phone, this clock, this uh, camera, because you can touch them, you can touch them or you're close to them. And also we use that that is singular, but when the objects are far away or they are not close to you. The meaning about that in Spanish is ese, esa, aquel, aquella, aquello. That is the meaning about that. Ese, esa, ese, aquel, aquello. That is the meaning about that. Y luego tenemos eh, the plural form. Tenemos los plurals, que en este caso son plurales. Y tenemos el primero que es this. Tenemos this y this. This is para plurales y los usamos cuando los objetos están cerca. Por ejemplo, these books, these tables, these clocks, these pencils, these cell phones, these computers. Usamos these porque son más de dos y los podemos tocar. Y tenemos el dosed. ¿Para qué usamos el dosed? El dosed lo usamos cuando es plural y cuando los objetos están lejos. Entonces decimos esos. Esas, aquellos, aquellas. Those. Esos, esas, aquellos, aquellas. That's the meaning about this. That we call demonstrative adjectives. Look at the chart. Demonstrative adjective singular. This is a red pen. Plural. These are blue pens. And also, we have a singular. This pen is red. These pens are blue. Somebody raised um, 
he, let's see, him, so somebody had equation or something like that? I don't know. No, you answered the question, thank you. Okay, cool. Okay, it's because I saw a uh, raised hand, so. Veamos los dibujos. Look at it. Look at this. Uh, the hands like pointing toward this one. This book here enclosed. We use this book because it's very close to me. I can touch it. Este libro here. And then we have that book. Está allá. En inglés is there. And it's not closed. That's why you say that book. Ese libro, porque no lo puedo tocar. Entonces, usamos that book. Demonstrative variety. When we have two books, we use these books. This. El primero es this. Y el segundo es this. This, singular. This, plural. These books. Here, porque están aquí cerca. And they are closed. And we use those books. Because are there and are not close to you. Entonces, vemos la diferencia de los dos. Dos singulares, dos plurales. Uno está cerca, el otro está lejos. Plurales, unos están cerca, los otros están lejos. That is the difference between demonstrative adjectives. And we can use it for people, animals, and objects. It's a short backup for you because... Yeah? A question. Yeah. Uh, what is the difference of close? What's close? the difference... In, in 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 the two case, I mean, close, cl close, close is close because you can touch it or it's nearer to you. For example, mm -hmm. I got a cell phone here with me. Oh, I got a clock. I have a watch. Look mm -hmm. at this one. I have mm -hmm. my watch, and you say, uh, "Oh, this watch," because it's very near to me, or I can mm -hmm. touch it. That's why we say that it's close. Está cerca. Mm -hmm. Cuando close decimos cerca, cerca, no es que esté cerrado, sino que significa que está cerca. It's close, close cerca. to me. Ajá, close okay. es cerca. So it's, it's close to me. Okay. Pero si estuviera aquí, in, in my hand, and I say, wow, look at that cloud. Claro, no lo estaría tocando, sino que solo lo señalara porque está lejos de mí. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. that, that, eh, en inglés es watch. Oh, look at mm -hmm. that watch. Right? So we mm -hmm. can use it. That's yeah, the difference. Okay. 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 You're welcome. Okay, so we also have here some demonstrative adjectives, and also there are like some other details that perhaps we would like to socialize. Uh, Joanna, could you help me to read the information about demonstrative adjectives? Demonstrative adjectives are used to sign, represent, or represent, it's, it's the same, a place. It's the same, represent or uh, represent. I mean, using, uh, are, are you used to sign, represent? Coma or represent a place. I mean, eh, okay. Sí, pero dan dos ideas distintas. Okay, represent a place. Demonstrative adjectives are also now known as demonstrative determiners or positive demonstrative. Continue. Yes, please. This this house is all but solid. This ship will sail so tomorrow morning. That give me that note. It's mine. Are that green house yours? This we both is candles for our wedding and wedding anniversary. Those can you eat? All the toast cakes, mom. Can you buy toast dress? Okay. Okay. Um, we can see here some examples about demonstrative adjectives. Cuando usamos these uh, singular close things, that singular for their our distance, and also this for close things and plural, and those for um, plural things but are distant. So we use, in this case, the demonstrative adjectives. That is uh, something related to these structures. And also, if you have been uh, working in the platform, some exercises about that. This house, that house, this, 
these houses, those houses. Entonces, it's a, it's a short uh, topic about the demonstrative adjectives. And look at this one. We have, um, sorry, we go back. And we can see here some examples about this. This house is old, but solid. This ship will sail south tomorrow morning. That, give me that note, it's mine. Um, are that greenhouse, are that greenhouse yours? And so we can say it. Tenemos acá algunos ejemplos de los demonstrative adjectives. Vamos a algunos, hagamos algunos ejemplos utilizando los demonstrative adjectives. Teacher, I yes. have a question. Tell me. Um, it's necessary to use auxiliary, for example, are or is or is. Or... Uh, depending on the context, for example, I can say, are these, uh, yo digo, um, look at the example, are these books yours? Eh, son estos libros tuyos, entonces acá pues estamos utilizando el are is porque quiero es, eh, ejemplificar la cantidad. Son estos libros tuyos? Is um is that car is that car uh, yours? Is this tu carro? Porque está lejos en la esquina. Is that your car? Oh, it does. Is that car yours? Or is that your car? Yes, is my car. Is this is this cell phone? Is this cell phone yours? Is this the celular to you? Yes, this is my cell phone. Yes, this is. Also, you can check here um, the demonstrative by a tip for asking questions like, oh, that is my that is my. Y para afirmativo yo puedo decir, that is my car. The blue one. Y me preguntaban en la clase anterior por qué usábamos el one o, o once, por ejemplo. Eh, is this your motorcycle? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. This is. Sí, esta es. Okay, so we can check this. Um, another statement that we can use is like um, affirmative statements. Oh, those are, those are my friends. Those are my friends. Esos, esos son mis amigos. Y utilizamos para una afirmación al inicio those. Those are my friends. This is my, this is my boss. The answer is... Yes, they they are. Oh. Eh, ¿En cuál? In t those are my friends. No, porque ahí está en afirmativo. Ah, okay, okay. A menos que yo dijera, are those? Mm -hmm. Are those? Are those your friend? Teacher, y no se puede decir también, this is my car. This is my car, yeah. Mm -hmm. Para afirmativo, esa es como afirmación. Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. this is my car. Mm -hmm. Are those your friends? Yes, they are. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Yes, they are my friends. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's about the difference in the pronunciation of this book or these books. Uh, this, this, I don't know what's the difference. Okay, the pronunciation uh, also is like this, soft. But when we say this, 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 this is like a little longer. So we say in, in the pronunciation. For example, let me share if I can share uh, the pronunciation of one word. One second. Mm, check. La palabra dicen singular sería como así. No sé si ustedes la, la escuchan. Quiero ver. This. This. ¿Lo escucharon? No, this. This is soft. Singular, this. Entonces, this. this. 
es un poquito más corta la pronunciación porque solo lleva una, una vocal, this. Entonces, cuando usamos el singular decimos this. this. Cuando es el plural, this. Porque this. ya se suenan las dos e. This. This. This, this house. These houses. This. This, this book. This books. So, acuérdense que la pronunciación inicial es this. Y la siguiente es this. This. Porque las dos I son soft, de pronunciación suave. These, these, these are very similar, but la diferencia también es el tiempo. Y la, las dos vocales, que son las dos E. Sí. Yeah. Gracias. You're welcome. Look at this. Okay. Any other equations related to demonstrative adjectives? Okay, we're gonna jump up because it's actually part of the conversation. Uh, look at these examples we have here and also check this. We had to select the best uh, demonstrative adjective according to the pictures. We have a car. What is um, the, the best answer? This. this car. This, this car. This car. Me, gust, me gustó porque fue, fue brief. This car. This car. This car. Yeah, so what's specifically? We have bike. That bike. That bike. That, that, bike. that, that bike because it's um, not closed. It's not it's closed. Not closed. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that bike. And what about pencils? These pencils. These yeah. pencils. Okay, what about books? Those books. Those books. Those books, that's right. We're talking about those books. What about ball? That ball. That ball. That ball. That ball. Yes. What about shoes? Those shoes. These shoes. These shoes. These shoes because we can touch them. They are closed. Mouse. Mm -hmm. This mouse. This mouse. Okay. This. Snakes. Those, those snakes. snakes. Those. those snakes. Those snakes. Yeah. Those snakes. What about birds? These, These birds. birds. These. These birds and the cat. That, 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 that cat. cat. That, that cat. cat. Yeah, because we can now touch it. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, excellent. We have uh, this exercise that is about, about objects. So we're talking about materials. Uh, what are, look at this. Mm, I'm gonna move this side here. Okay, it says, what are these things made of? Identify each one and use the words from the list. We have cotton, rubber, gold, silk, later, Silver, plastic, and wool. Those are materials. So I want you to think about the objects and also what are these things made of. So try to identify the best answer for this and let's um, socialize them. Thank you, Joanna.
Okay, I'm checking the answers here in the chat. That's great. And also the number five is okay. Great, great. Okay, so we have the first one that is a, a plastic bracelet a plastic bracelet. So the pronunciation is bracelet. The number two, you say gold, a gold ring. The number three, well, so we have the number two gold ring. Um, we, can, we could say here that the number three is a silk tie. Okay, that's great. Cotton socks, cotton, que es como de algodón, cotton socks. Eh, what was the number five? Vamos a ver, número cinco, number five, we said. A later jacket. A later jacket, a later, yes. Later a, jacket. Later jacket. Number six, what about the number six? We said that. Cotton. A cotton shirt. Cotton shirt. A cotton shirt. A cotton shirt, because it's a formal shirt. Cuando es informal, es un, le agregan una T, T-shirt, cuando es como camiseta. En este caso, sería a cotton shirt. Number seven. Silver earrings. Silver earrings. Silver earrings. Yes. And the last one. Plastic box. Rubber boots. Rubber boots. Rubber boots. Rubber boots. Yes. boots. That's the pronunciation. We have bracelet. Ring, tie, socks, jacket, shirt, earrings, and boots. That's um, that's great. Um, and this is the last uh, topic that we will develop here tomorrow. We will uh, socialize more details about the comparisons. We're talking about preference comparisons with adjectives. We have one question. Which one do you prefer? In Spanish is, ¿cuál prefieres? When you go to a, an, a store, when you go to a store and you want to buy a, a product or something and you say, which one do you prefer? Uh, that one is cheaper than the wool one. Entonces utilizamos lo que son los adjetivos comparativos. A bank in New York. Okay, do you remember the do you remember the comparative? Yes. Do you remember about the comparative adjectives? ¿Se recuerdan de este tema de los comparatives? So so. So so. Okay, para empezar, cuando hablamos de los comparative adjectives utilizamos la siguiente estructura. Vamos a utilizar eh, el adjetivo adjective eh, más eh, si el adjetivo es corto entre paréntesis short adjectives cuando los adjetivos son cortos nosotros queremos hacer los comparativos cuando los adjetivos son cortos nosotros lo que tenemos que hacer le vamos a agregar R y R significa para nosotros más Es más en inglés. Entonces, si yo digo eh, cheap, la palabra cheap significa barato, right? Cheap es barato. Entonces, si yo quiero que, que diga más barato, yo voy a agregarle al final de la palabra una ER. Y ahora va a decir cheaper. Va a significar más barato. Porque la ER hace un, super, un comparativo. Entonces, decimos cheaper. Por eso vemos en el ejemplo, that one is cheaper than the wool one. Y la palabra then, que es la que está acá, significa que. Entonces decimos cheaper than. Ese than significa que.
Sorry, Miss Spelling. Ahí está, miren. Dan significa que. Entonces, cheaper than the wool one. Más barato que el de lana. And I prefer the later one. This one is nicer than. Y vemos aquí que el, el adjetivo es nice, pero vemos que se transforma en un comparativo porque le han agregado una ER. Entonces, ¿qué significaría la palabra nicer? Es mejor. Es mejor, exactamente. Es bueno o está bien, pero cuando decimos nicer es mejor que... Y, y vemos la otra. That's very interesting. Look at this. Y tenemos la siguiente. The later jacket is prettier than... En este caso, la chaqueta de cuero es más bonita. Porque el adjetivo pretty es bonito. Pero como dice la regla que cuando el adjetivo termina en una Y, nosotros tenemos que eliminar la Y y le vamos a agregar una I latina más ER. Entonces decimos nosotros prettier. Por eso aparece ahí prettier. El día de mañana nos vamos a dedicar a estudiar un poquito más a profundidad este tema, ya que para nosotros es un poquito mucho más práctico. So we say, we say pretty. Look at this. Decimos prettier. Más bonito. Vemos también la palabra bigger del adjetivo big que es grande. Cuando decimos big, es grande. Y ahora vemos algo diferente. Porque uh, si, la, si el adjetivo es big, vemos que tiene 2G. Si solo el big es con una. Hay una regla gramatical que dice que cuando el adjetivo es pequeño, este solo tiene una, una consonante, una vocal y una consonante. Nosotros tenemos que agregarle una consonante en la que termina. Es decir, que si termino en una G, yo le voy a agregar otra G más ER y ahora va a decir bigger. Entonces, pero esta regla solo aplica para aquellos adjetivos que tienen esa característica. Consonante, vocal, consonante. Y por eso dice, oh, it looks bigger than. Este se ve más grande que aquel. Than that one. Y tenemos ahí el otro que es more. More stylish. ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar more? Como dijimos que los adjetivos, cuando los adjetivos son pequeños, nosotros solo le agregamos una ER al final del adjetivo. Bigger, taller, cheaper, eh, crazier, easier, softer, ho colder, hotter, uglier, etc. Pero cuando un adjetivo tiene más de dos sílabas, nosotros ya no le vamos a agregar una ER para hacerlo un comparativo, sino que vamos a decir, vamos a agregarle more más el adjetivo. En este caso, un adjetivo largo sería intelligent. Look at this example here. More intelligent. Porque el adjetivo tiene más de dos sílabas, entonces decimos más inteligente. Wow, more intelligent. Oh, cuando usted dice, oh, es más, más hermoso, este producto es more It's more beautiful. So this is um, because the adjective is very long. Porque el adjetivo es más grande o más largo o tiene más de dos sílabas. More eh, attractive. Este producto es más atractivo. This product is more attractive. Ahora estamos comparando. Having a comparison. So this is actually part of these adjectives. Yes? I can say uh, more better. No. Eh, Justamente hay unos adjetivos que tienen una estructura diferente. Eh, tenemos la palabra good, que es el adjetivo normal. Y tenemos el comparativo, que es better. Y hay un superlativo que es best. Este es el orden de los adjetivos. Tenemos eh, adjetivo base, 
el comparativo y el superlativo. Good, better, best. Entonces, better sería el adjetivo para decir es mejor. That is the part of the adjectives. Entonces, cuando usted vaya a comprar, ocupamos por lo general este tipo de, de adjetivos para describir. Oh, that car is cheaper than my car. This cell phone is nicer than your cell phone. This later jacket is prettier than my jacket. And these, these pants looks bigger than your pants. Wow, this house is more stylish than your house. Entonces vemos cómo eh, se trabaja lo que son los comparisons en esa estructura. Eh, tomorrow, eh, nos vamos a concentrar directamente en los comparisons with adjectives. Entonces no voy a faltar esta clase porque vamos a ir viendo las reglas iniciales de los comparativos. Eh, cuando los adjetivos solo tienen una sílaba, Vamos a ir trabajando los adjetivos cuando tienen más de dos sílabas y ya no ocupamos er, sino que ocupamos more, más el then para referirnos a qué. This is actually what we had to do. And because this is a, like a short introduction. And you will see some exercises in your, in your platforms so you can see these exercises and you need to know the differences between the short adjectives and long adjectives. Preguntas. Eh, Preguntas hasta acá. Ah, question, teacher. Yes. Ah, acá estamos hablando de más. Y cuando decimos que es menos bonito o menos barato o menos. Ah, entonces usamos less. Is ah, less, okay. less expensive. Menos, menos costoso. Ah, okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. That we use less. That is the, the only difference. So this is actually part of the adjectives that we are using. For example, ¿cuál sería el comparativo de, por ejemplo, de ugly? ¿Cuál sería el comparativo de ugly? Un uglier. Uglier. Like, uglier. Yes. El comparativo uglier. de rápido. Fast. Faster. El comparativo de tall, de alto. Taller. El, el comparativo de short. De short, de corto. Shorter. 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 El comparativo de largo. Long. Longer. 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 Or longer. larger. Larger or longer. So because our synonyms. Mm -hmm. eh, si hablamos de un comparativo, por ejemplo, el comparativo. Interesting. More. More interesting. More interesting. More. More interesting. Yes, because more. it has more. Eh, tiene más de dos sílabas. So that's why we use interesting. Syllables, right? And what about uh, we use expensive? More, more expensive. expensive. More, more expensive. expensive. More expensive. That's más costoso. Yeah. So that's right. So this is actually part of the adjectives in comparative, comparative and superlative form. And also, hay unas reglas que se llaman irregular rules. But I will, I will show you tomorrow this one. And also, the focus about this class was the demonstrative adjectives, and I expected that you could. Um, and socialize this information. Okay, um, something mm -hmm. else that you would like to add? Algo que les gustaría agregar? Teacher, yo solo pedirle un favor. Mm -hmm. No, teacher. Uh -huh. De que tal vez este los temas que nos va a dar este, como usted los pone ya tardecito, ¿verdad? Ya casi cuando va a comenzar la clase, tal vez pudiera en transcurso del día enviarlos para así poder revisar antes de de la clase, porque ya cuando los ponen sin nochecito, que ya casi nos vamos a conectar. Entonces, difícilmente uno los pueda ver. Ok, me gusta la idea. De, de hecho, eso los hago en la mañana, ¿saben? Y los mando ya en la noche. Pero I will send you Ay, no. Yeah, honestly. A veces sí. los, los hago en el espacio que me queda y de repente, hey, you know what? I need to send it when I come home. So I will send you in the morning. A la hora que los haga, se los comparto. 
All right. Welcome. Okay. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank it's, you. It's a Good pleasure. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night. You too. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye